Okay, segment three. I don't like this guy. This, not Trump, because I don't like him, but this is a column by Neil Steinberg. I am not a fan, ladies and gentlemen. Never have been. I've never quoted him um, unless it's to um, critique his work. I've never, ever quoted him. But I'm about to do that today. Not so much because I want to talk about this. Um, he frames this moral failure in the terms of the city council failing to or only agreeing to a very watered down. Um, it's not an ordinance. Um, it's something weaker than that that escapes me right now. Resolution. That's the word I'm looking for. It's a resolution. Watered down resolution criticizing India for the way they're treating Muslims. Okay, I'm not going to go down that road, but I am going to go down the road um, on a moral failure because I agree with him. It's the epicenter of moral failure and uh, ineptitude. Both him, I mean the city council and the mayor's office are both epic moral failures on a daily basis. Doesn't mean every alderman, doesn't mean, no, it means just about every mayor, I'm sure, um, has been an epic moral failure, especially on our issue. Crime, justice, accountability, transparency. Epic, epic failures. Um, he cites in the report, in his column, he cites a report we did some years ago looking at an analysis of several years of agenda items from what at that time was called the Police and Fire Committee of the Chicago City Council. And he talks about how they are just utterly useless and they do nothing to oversee the police or the police accountability system. And you know what? He's right. And I was right when we did it. And um, he's right. That is what I'm talking about, moral failure. The city council has the legal obligation to use their powers to oversee the work of the city council and the, um, I mean, to oversee the work of the police department, the police accountability system. And they have abdicated that responsibility, left and right, year after year after year after year after year. That is all they do. Rinse, repeat. That is all they do. That is why we are almost seven, we're approaching 730 days in the Lightfoot administration and we still don't have a community commission. Even though she said she'd get it in the first 100 days, even though it was started, Let's see, she was elected in 18, right? No, two years. 19 is when she took office. She was elected in 19, even though that community commission was being pushed by communities three years before she came into office. Five years later, we still don't have it. Okay, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back in one minute to talk about uh, some CJP um, work, media, weekend media coverage, and some of our FOIA work. And then we're going to talk about that politician to end it.